God bless you, loved ones. Welcome to the Word with Chester. Today we'll begin studying the 12th chapter of the book of Exodus. I do thank God for all of you that log on to watch this ministry. Thank God for our many, many friends that are across the world wide web. Thank God for my friends and family on Facebook. Uh, many of you uh, uh, I've known for many years, and some of you have gotten back in touch with me. I do appreciate uh, that you have friended me, and we're getting new friends every day, and I thank God for all of you. I want you to know that I love you with the love of the Lord. I'm doing all I can to impart the Word of God to you, and those of you that take the time to listen, it is appreciated by me. It is a very encouraging thing when you let me know that you're watching uh, by giving me the like, by punching the like button or following following me or something of that nature to let me know that you are watching this ministry. Thank God for you. I ask that you pray for me on a daily basis that God will give me the strength to continue uh, the things that we are doing. Uh, God is blessing this entity, and I'm, I'm so happy uh, that he is. He is showing himself to be with us in our music work. He's showing himself to be with us through our poetry. He's showing himself to be with us through this teaching ministry. God is a wonder, and I love him with all my heart. We're going to begin our reading today at verse 1 in chapter 12. I trust that you have your Bibles and you will read along with us as we study the Word of God. The Bible reads in verse 1, chapter 12, And the Lord spoke unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year unto you. Now, God is doing a lot of things through this passage of Scripture. I need you to uh, stay with me and read along with me. Uh, he's doing more than one thing. He's establishing uh, uh, a calendar uh, for the Jewish folks. He's, he's establishing a calendar. And not only is he stab establishing a calendar, he's uh, establishing uh, memorials and things of that nature and ordinances that they would need to follow. Uh, throughout time and even under this day. So it's an important passage of scripture. Please stay with us as we study. Uh, I'll read uh, uh, verse 3 here, but remember uh, remember what we read in verse 2. Uh, the month shall be unto you the beginning of months. Uh, all right, and it shall be the first month of the year for you. Now, uh, let's read on. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take unto them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, uh, a lamb for a house. Now we're going we're gonna to talk about something here, so stay with us. Take a lamb for a house, shall we read on? And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor uh, next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. Every man according to his eating shall make your count uh, for the lamb. In other words, God is initiating something here. And this lamb was supposed to be completely consumed. In other words, he's saying, if you're a small house, uh, don't kill a whole lamb when you and your family cannot consume it. If you're a small uh, house, just a small group of people, small family, uh, share with your neighbor, go in with him. Uh, that way uh, we'll read on and you'll find that this, this particular lamb was supposed to be completely consumed. Let's read in verse 5. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year, and ye shall, shall take it uh, out from the sheep uh, and from the goats, uh, and ye shall keep it until the fourteenth day of the, of the same month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. Uh, in other words, I want every household doing the same thing. Uh, everybody doing the same thing. Uh, take this lamb, this lamb without blemish. Uh, you're going to keep it, uh, you're going to keep it until the 14th day of the month. Uh, you, you don't uh, uh, make sure it's without blemish uh, and on the, on the 14th day of the month, you're going to kill this lamb. Let's Read it, uh, read it again in verse 5 and 6. The lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. Ye shall take it out from the sheep uh, and from the goats, and ye shall keep it until the fourteenth day of the same month. 
and the, and the whole assembly of the God congregation of Israel shall kill it uh, in the evening. Uh, specific time in the evening. Uh, let's read in verse 7. Uh, and they shall take of the blood uh, and strike it on the two side post uh, of the upper door post uh, of the house uh, wherein they shall eat it. Uh, in other words, this lamb that you kill, uh, you take the blood. Uh, you, you put blood on the door post of your house on both sides. Uh, and at the top, put blood. There's a reason why. And they shall eat the flesh in the in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread. Roast with fire and unleavened bread. And with bitter herbs, they shall eat it. Well, roast this lamb. You don't boil this lamb. You don't do anything. Uh, you don't cook it in any other way, but you roast it. Now, uh, God has his reasons for everything. You roast this lamb. Let's read on. Verse 9. Uh, eat not of it raw. You don't eat it raw, nor boil at all with water, uh, uh, but roast with fire, its head with its legs, and with the inward parts thereof. In other words, roast the entire lamb. What do you mean roasted? Uh, well, uh, uh, you ever seen anything on a rotisserie uh, cooked over a fire? That's roasting uh, 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 whatever you're cooking. Uh, well, this animal was supposed to be roasted. Not boiled, not baked, but roasted. Let's read on in verse 10. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. Uh, and that which re remaineth of it shall be uh, 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 until the morning uh, shall be burned with fire. Uh, if anything is left over, burn it up with fire. Uh, God has his reasons. Uh, and thus shall ye eat it uh, with uh, your loins girded and your shoes uh, and your... Uh, your, uh, your shoes on your feet uh, and your staff in your hand uh, and ye shall eat it in the uh, eat it in haste uh, it is the Lord's Passover uh, God is doing something he's initiating something uh, he letting them know uh, when you eat this lamb uh, this is going to be your last meal in bondage now this is going to be your last meal uh, 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 in bondage uh, eat it with your shoes on uh, eat it with your staff uh, eat it ready to go because you're not going to eat uh, uh, eat uh, uh, again uh, uh, under under the bondage conditions. Uh, eat it. You're getting ready to come out of here now. Uh, let's read. Uh, 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 it, well, uh, well, as we read verse eleven, God doing so many things uh, and and letting them know. Now this, this lamb, uh, we could go in talking about this being a type of Christ, uh, uh, and indeed it was because it was uh, the the lamb and the blood there there. Is a redemption for uh, for Israel. Was a, a, a redemption for them. Uh, they didn't have to take the same punishment uh, or go through the same thing that the Egyptian people went. Why? Because they were identified uh, under the blood, uh, under the covenant, uh, covenant of the Lord. <coughs> Please excuse me. Uh, very important. Uh, well, thank God for the blood of Jesus. Uh, I'm identified with him. Uh, and when the blood of Jesus is applied to my heart, uh, I don't have to go through the same sufferings uh, that, those, uh, that those that reject uh, the atoning blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, I should talk about that further, but let me read on. Uh, in verse 12, uh, and I will pass through the land of Egypt this night uh, and will smite all the firstborn uh, in the land of Egypt, uh, both man and beast, uh, and against all the gods, little g-o-d, gods of Egypt, uh, I will execute judgment. Uh, I am the Lord, capital L, I am the Lord. Uh, uh, he said, I'm going to go through the land of Egypt, uh, kill every firstborn of both, uh, both men and beast. That I'm going to kill all the firstborn of every house uh, and, and execute my judgment uh, on all the little G.O.D.s of Egypt. Uh, all uh, uh, of the, of the uh, land of Egypt, he's going to execute his judgment. Why? Because he is the Lord. Uh, because he is supreme. Uh, he is in charge. And he'll let you know that he is in charge. Uh, let's read verse 14. And this day shall be 
unto you for a memorial now. It's going to be a, for you a, a, a memorial, uh, and ye shall keep it a feast of the Lord throughout your generations. Uh, ye shall keep it uh, a feast by an ordinance forever. Uh, you're going to keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. Uh, this is what I'm telling you to do. Uh, not just this one time, but you're going to keep this feast uh, as a memorial uh, forever. Uh, you're going to do it forever. Remember the days, the first month, remember the 10th a day, and remember the 14th day. Remember all of these things. Uh, you're going to keep it as a memorial uh, uh, forever. Uh, and that means it's not going to stop. Uh, let's read on in verse, uh, verse 15. Seven days shall ye eat unleavened bread, uh, even the first day of... Uh, the first day ye shall put away leaven out of your house. Let me read it again. Seven days ye shall ye eat unleavened bread. What is unleavened bread? Well, unleavened bread is bread without baking powder, without any rising agent, any yeast or anything that will make it rise and make it Make it appear bigger than what it is. Uh, you got to understand. Uh, that's what most of us, most of us got enough baking powder. We look a whole lot bigger than what we are. Uh, we got yeast in there. You understand what I'm talking about? And we puff up and look big and swole up. But really, God just wants you. Uh, he wants the basic you without all the swelling. Uh, and here, uh, 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 let me read 14 again. This day shall be unto you uh, for a memorial, uh, and ye shall keep it. Uh, a feast to the Lord throughout your generation. Um, ye shall keep it uh, a feast by an ordinance forever. Um, seven days shall ye eat unleavened bread, uh, or bread without yeast, uh, unyet leavened bread. Uh, even the first day shall uh, put away leaven uh, out of your houses. Uh, from the first day, put away leaven completely out of your house. Don't even leave any in the cabinets. Uh, don't leave any in the cupboards. Take it all out your house. Get it all out of there. Uh, for whosoever eateth leavened bread uh, from the first day until the till the seventh day, uh, that soul shall be cut off from from Israel. Now, this is how important it is. Uh, now, it was and is. Uh, well, you got to get that now. Uh, uh, God is putting a uh, setting an ordinance, uh, and if a, if someone broke this uh, and did not do it, uh, they would be cut completely out uh, 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 off. Uh, from Israel. Uh, that's how adamant God is. That's how important this is. you got to understand this is the word of the Lord. In verse 16, and in the first day uh, there shall be an holy convocation, uh, a holy convocation or a holy gathering. Uh, on the first day uh, there shall be a holy convocation uh, and in the seventh day there shall be a, a holy convocation to you the first day and the seventh day. Now, if we look at it in our calendar year, the, the first day and the seventh day, that brought the, the, the weekends together. The first day, uh, uh, if we can use the term now being, the, uh, being Sunday and the seventh day being Saturday, the weekend brought together. I preached a full length sermon and I may do it again one of these days, a weekend to remember. And in the first First day there shall be a holy convocation, and in the seventh day there shall be a holy convocation to you, a holy gathering, a, a, a holy gathering, not just a gathering, but a holy gathering, a holy convocation, where all the people will come together on the first day and on the seventh day. And, and I'm reading the latter part of verse 16 to you: No manner of work shall be done in them. Don't you? You work in that period of time. No matter of work shall be done in them, save that which every man must eat, that only may be done by you. In other words, the only uh, only physical exertion that you need to be doing on that day is whatever it takes to put food in your mouth. No working on those on those days. The weekend, a holy convocation. The first day of the week, a holy convocation. Convocation and uh, the last day of the week, uh, a holy convocation, uh, the two days brought together a complete weekend to remember. 
Let's read in verse 17. And ye shall observe the feast of unleavened bread. For in this very same day have I brought your armies out of the land of Egypt. Therefore shall ye observe this day in your generations by an ordinance forever. In other words, this day you're going to celebrate what's about to happen now. You're going to celebrate it and you're going to observe it forever. I want it to be a, a, a memorial forever. God is instituting this. Well, let's talk about it. Well, after a few generations, people will begin to forget about the miraculous works of God. But if you celebrate this, if you celebrate it like I've initiated, if you do what I told you to do, it'll be a memorial. Memorial. Uh, even the little ones that wasn't born yet, uh, they'll be able to see and understand the miracle working power uh, of our God. Let me read another couple of verses. Uh, at verse 18, uh, and the first month uh, on the 14th day of, of, of the month at evening, uh, ye shall eat unleavened bread uh, until the, uh, the one uh, and twelfth day of the month at evening. Uh, this is what I want you to do in verse 19. Seven days uh, shall there be no leaven found in your houses. Uh, seven complete days. Uh, no leaven, no baking powder, no yeast, uh, none of that in your houses at all. Take it completely out of your house, uh, out of your pantry, uh, out, of your, out of your kitchen cabinets. Uh, take it all completely out of your house. I'll read it again. Seven days uh, there shall be no leaven found in your houses. For whosoever eateth that which is leavened, even that soul shall be cut off from the congregation of Israel, whether he be a sore joiner or born in the land. That's how severe God uh, uh, thought this to be. Anyone that would violate this ordinance, they would be cut off from Israel forever. Whether there be a bit. <coughs> Please excuse me. A visitor or a sojourner, they will be cut off, or someone born in Israel. That's how adamant God is about it. Well, my friends, I want you to know that I love you. I love you with the love of the Lord. Thank God that you're here. I encourage you to keep listening because this is the word of God. I love you with the love of the Lord. If you would like to contact me for any reason, you can write me at the Word with Chester Ministries, Post Office Box 200483, San Antonio, Texas, 78220. You can also reach me at my website, www dot poems by Chester dot com. Remember our song, uh, our CD that's out, uh, seven complete songs on here, most of which I wrote. Uh, you can order this uh, actually from my website. You can uh, order it from iTunes, TuneCore, Amazon dot com. Uh, go to these entities, just punch in my name, key in my name, uh, and my work will come up and you can order it. Uh, remember, uh, this will be a blessing to you. Uh, and you will be a blessing to this ministry. Uh, I want you to know that I love you with the love of the Lord. Uh, God bless you, my friends. Uh, keep me in your prayers, uh, and I will pray for you.